More likely than not, Chevron will come out ahead when all said and done. Um, Chevron is four times the size of Occidental. It's got a bigger balance sheet. Uh, it has the ability to sweeten its bid. Um, for the record, I don't think either company needs to make this acquisition. In fact, I wish that neither of them did it. But one of them, I'm pretty sure, is, is going to end up with Anadarko. And if I were a betting man, I would say put, put the money on Chevron at this point. Josh, you think uh, Occidental have a decent shot of this, though? Yeah, we do. You know, both companies have a good opportunity here, but the, the real advantage right now for Occidental is that they bid $11 per share higher, and it comes with a 50-50 bid here for, for cash and stock. And so that's the real key for them, and I think that's part of the reason why Anadarko is engaging with them right now is, is they see that value uh, of, of their enterprise really coming out in the $76 offer. Are there any possible third bidders, Pavel? Not likely, but stranger things have happened. I mean, realistically, the only other super majors that would be big enough to, you know, test their luck on something like this would be Exxon or Shell. In other words, trying to outbid Chevron and succeeding, uh, it's, it, it's really just a couple of companies left. So, Josh, if you're a shareholder of Occidental, I mean, do you want this deal or not? The CEO says that they're the perfect fit. It's a very valuable asset in the Permian. I mean, the stock has, has sold off a bit on that. I guess there'd be some balance sheet questions there. I mean, what do you do if you own Oxy? Yeah, I think that's the key question right now, which is, is what is the stock baking in? And, you know, the, the stock has underperformed their large cap peers by about 15% since the Chevron deal was, was first announced. And you look at a stock right now that's basically flat on the year, and yet crude oil is up 35 to 40 percent. And so that's the real value that we see. You know, this deal does help them a lot in terms of generating uh, additional growth and a better resource base and providing synergies and, and a higher free cash flow yield than what they would have had before. So we do see rationale for, the, for this transaction, uh, even with some of the risk regarding execution and the financial leverage. Pavel, would you buy any of these stocks uh, at this level based around how you think this transaction is going to play out? Yeah, I actually agree um, that that Oxy is oversold, uh, even though I, I wish, again, they were, they were not doing this deal. Uh, the fact of the matter is it has immensely underperformed in the last two weeks. Uh, and I think the, you know, the multiple that Oxy has historically or the premium that it's historically had versus other large gift EMPs has been basically wiped out. So at this point, it's about as far away from being priced for perfection as it gets. So I think Oxy is a good buy here.